Sadly, a superb first half performance from Bedford Blues at Goldington Road last Saturday wasn't enough to hold off former Premiership side Worcester Warriors, who clawed their way back from a 17-0 half-time scoreline to take the 32-17 victory and remain top of the table. The game was just six minutes old when fly-half Jake Sharp dropped a goal to put the first points on the scoreboard and give Bedford a 3-0 lead with the visitors yet to touch the ball. Midway through the first half, Bedford got their first try when centre Viliami Hakalo intercepted a pass from Worcester fly half Ryan Mills, galloping clear of the defence to score under the posts for an easy conversion for James Pritchard and send the shock time support into raptures. Still without any points on the scoreboard, Warriors looked to attack down the short side, only for centre Andy Simmons to fumble the ball in the tackle with Hakalo once again on hand to snaffle it up. The Tongan powerhouse charged down the flank before passing to the lightning-quick Pat Tapley for a second score. Pritchard added the extras to give the Blues a 17-0 half-time lead. Warriors came out of the interval all fired up and just three minutes in had their first try. A misplaced pass from scrum half Peter White put the ball dead and gave the league leaders an attacking scrum just five metres out. Warriors picked from the base of the scrum and went down the blind side for wing Sam Smith to crash over the whitewash. In the 64th minute, Worcester found themselves reduced to 14 men when the referee took exception to further ill discipline at the scrum and showed prop Nick Schonert a yellow card having infringed consistently for the first hour with the Blues front row firmly on top. Despite being a player down, Worcester remained on the attack and even sent an easily kickable penalty to touch as they hunted all seven points. From the resulting line-out, Blues replacement Paul Tupai evened the numbers as the experienced forward saw yellow for bringing down the mall. With Bedford now hanging on, two more tries for the visitors followed to see Dean Ryan's men edge into the lead with just minutes left on the clock. As Mike Crayer's men threw everything into attack with a win still in sight, another handling error proved costly as former Bath winger Tom Biggs received the ball in space to touch down and seal the final score.